three implants on three of his front teeth. This is the three of them got it. from about two years ago. Okay, so now on this one, he's already got maybe what? Half, about half of the bone loss on 40%, there. 40%, yep. 50%. This is now what it looks like today. So this so, is the one that had the bone loss at the micro threads. Yes. And now, and what has happened to the patient? Has he done his regular hygiene checks? Or what do you think was the cause of that? According to the patient, he says yes, but he got his uh, dental work done out of the United States, and he said he got it done a while ago, and if he's kind of been having problems with them since. So it would be hard to tell exactly what. My guess would be that the bone was thin to begin with, and over time, thin bone doesn't last like thick bone does. So did he? Did you take a CT scan on this patient? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you were able to see that thin bone. Mm -hmm. And then is this implant mobile now? Yes. Or like just the screw? That one, and it's hard to tell. Uh, but it seems like the implant itself is mobile and there's also pus that comes out when you push the tissues on the front side of the implants. Pus comes out of all three of the you implants. You know what? I think that he also has um, Emacs. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, Emacs. And then so, I mean, we don't usually do that. Mm -mm. 